I apologize for the brief hiatus. I know all of you were just dying <laughs> to see a new movie review from me, right? Okay, I didn't think you guys were actually dying. Let's, uh, let's bring up the energy a little bit here. Let's... Uh... Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the latest superhero flick to hit the silver screen, Deadpool. The movie's about Wade Wilson, a small-time mercenary who, after being diagnosed with terminal cancer, decides to take part in an experiment that will supposedly cure him of his illness and allow him to live the rest of his life comfortably alongside his soulmate. That experiment, however, goes horribly wrong and leaves Wade both incredibly ugly and disfigured, but it also makes him immortal, gives him super strength, and prompts him to take revenge on the man responsible for ruining his boyish good looks. <laughs> and handsome guy. <laughs> there was a lot of hype surrounding Deadpool and... <laughs> Me being the unconventional and totally unique contrarian when it comes to popular opinion that I am, <laughs> I had my doubts. I was irritated by the film's marketing strategy and its in-your-face attitude. Every ad for Deadpool was all, Hey, look at us, we're not your average superhero movie. We're gonna have blood and boobs and dick. It seemed very high and mighty and like it was really proud of itself for doing something that other movies, like Kick-Ass and Kinda Not Really Watchmen, have already done. I'm not about that. That being said, the movie isn't that at all. It's obnoxious for the first 10 minutes or so, but afterwards it feels as though the movie is working towards presenting a series of ultra-violent set pieces that ultimately revolve around a surprisingly compelling and heartwarming love story about Wade and his boo. It sounds really lame, but the filmmakers, director Tim Miller and writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, embrace a sort of blasé fuck it attitude that makes the movie feel consistently lighthearted and, in turn, feel reflective of Deadpool's attitude towards pretty much anything. Deadpool's character, or at least the version of him that's presented in this film, isn't concerned with saving the world or anything like that. He only cares about helping himself and the people directly responsible for his happiness and brutally murdering anyone that gets in the way of him having a good time. And so whenever there's a moment in the film that feels like a downer, that moment is dropped almost immediately to reinforce the idea that this movie is simply trying to bring about good vibes and encourage everyone to stop stop taking themselves, as well as superhero movies, so seriously. Most of Deadpool also works as somewhat of a commentary on the current state of superhero films, how generic they've become within the last couple of years, and how black they can be, you know? And it does so by constantly breaking the fourth wall, having Deadpool talk directly to the audience, and even outwardly acknowledge the varying cliches and tropes typical of an average superhero movie that are also present in this movie. At times, I would have rather the filmmakers actually try and reinvent the superhero genre rather than point out everything wrong with it and then do exactly that. But then again, I feel like what they did was actually pretty effective in pointing out that maybe all modern superhero movies just need to be a little sillier and tout themselves as being a lot less important than they consider themselves to be. It's all just so self-deprecating and honest about what kind of movie it is, and because of that, I really respect it. It feels like the most human a superhero movie could be, and it didn't even have to be all dark and gritty. Like, it's got dark humor, but it's not a dark movie in any way. Now, I don't want to risk sounding redundant or stupid, so I'll end my thoughts there. I found Deadpool to be very enjoyable, and so I'm going to give it three and a half out of five stars. Now... Come on. What's going on?